can prove this theorem to the point C. Main line uh, perpendicular to line AC, and on that line, cut off a part equal to CB. Use C as center. We'll call that point D, and we need to draw in AD. And then we had a right angled triangle called ACD. And we have the square on the line AB is equal to the sum of two squares on two lines AC and CB. But BC is equal to CD. So the square on the line AB shall be equal to the sum of two squares on two lines AC and CD too. But since triangle ACD is a right angled triangle, the line AD, the, uh, the square on the line AD shall be equal to the, two, the sum of two squares on two lines DC and CA. And so we have AB equal to AD. And B, C equal to C, D, and C, A come to both. And so, triangle A, B, C shall be equal to triangle A, D, C in every respect. But, it, which means angle A, C, D is equal to angle A, C, B. But angle A, C, D is right angle. So, angle A, C, B shall be another right angle.